White Noise, out on Netflix, new film from director Noah Baumbach, reuniting him with Adam Driver, also starring Greta Gerwig and Don Cheadle. It's an adaptation of a novel written by Don DeLillo, which I have personally not read, and it's sort of an absurdist, strange, tragic comedy. Uh, the story takes place in the 1980s and follows Jack, played by Adam Driver. He's a middle-aged college professor, uh, specializing in history, and more specifically in Hitler. Uh, he's apparently the foremost expert on the subject in the entire US and has somewhat of an obsession regarding that. He also has a loving family, wife and four children, which is sort of very, a very chaotic family unit, slightly dysfunctional, but otherwise quite warm. The one looming issue is the wife's memory problems. Uh, for some time now she's been forgetting things, even basic things such as the kids names and, and the husband is, is beginning to, to get worried and then one day an accident releases a cloud of toxic chemicals over the town that they live in so the entire family along with everybody else has to evacuate and drive away and the journey will be a trigger for some internal and external rethinking of various things in life so it's one of those things that, uh, one of those films that don't necessarily rely on its plot, but rather use it as a sort of excuse to explore some philosophical themes. And in this case, those themes are fear of death, the idea of confronting mortality, and the question of leaving anything behind, uh, of, of legacy. And then the sort of sarcastic idea of, of solving all those problems with just dumb consumerism and meaningless conversations and day-to-day -day boring life. Uh, the way those topics are explored are through a somewhat meandering and disjointed collection of scenes, sequences and subplots. Now, I don't have a problem with this structure per se. I'm quite okay with movies that have a more sort of relaxed pace and vibe. However, what I do have a problem with <coughs> is the tonal shift around two-thirds of the way in. See. Up until the point, the film is essentially a dark comedy, very absurdist and deadpan, kind of funny, with strange characters and situations that are clearly not meant to be taken all that seriously. But then, for the last act, it very abruptly <coughs> turns into a very, mu very much darker thing, a sort of thriller with elements of film noir even, and really begins to focus on the existential dread of it all. And I don't think that that tone shift works. I, I, I don't think that the final act necessarily works even on its own, but when you put it sort of against what came before, it's just very jarring and, and strange. It felt to me like the film had a solid idea of, of what it wants to be, and then it abandons that idea for a, an inferior uh, alternative. Which is a shame because, you know, I liked Adam Driver in it, I liked the production design and the clothes and the cars and the colors and the supermarket interiors. I like the ideas it played with and I like the tone and humor of the first half of the film. But unfortunately, when the tone shift happens, it just lost me almost completely. And I can't in good conscience say it's a good film when all is said and done. It's an interesting concept with some great ideas in there, but unfortunately, it fails in execution.